what's this? Oh, okay. Connor's in there. Hmm. The field seems to have been cast with high level Enochian magic. But this cannot go on. Let's go. Now that I'm here, I understand. It's just as Cliff said. We can't save Kana, not anymore. When she wakes, she will destroy the world. It is your fate to use that sword to cut down my daughter, to kill her. As her father, I cannot allow that to happen. Damn it. Come on, Theodore. After all of this. Oh, after all we've been through. You have to fight me again. Muramasa did mention something about that the uh, dragon sword can't, uh, can only kill or defeat true evil. Can only kill true evil. And uh, Khan is not true evil. I wonder how that would work. Shit. I was able to take him out pretty quickly until he started blocking a ton. So that's the kind of stuff I gotta watch out for. Okay, I think I know what I need to do.
There we go. Uh, pretty hard to get an opening at the end. Wow, so you undid the, undid the curse. Alright, True Inferno. Theodore's alchemy dispelled the curse. Now is the time to unleash the art of the True Inferno. Not sure why you're walking slow again. Now we're gonna have a pretty epic boss fight now. Maybe. Holy shit. Let's explore right down in the middle. Whoa. Here we go. Damn. Bad time to land. So between those enemies are ruthless or just vicious, they won't non stop. I love the bit to get the blood the steel on bone. There we go. Oh, 
think I just need to fill up my uh, true inferno and use it. I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing now. Holy crap. Oh, okay. So quick. And this camera angle doesn't do doesn't help me either. There we go. I think that should help. I'm making it really hard to see it when I can do the steel and bone. I was gonna try to do an Azuna drop. Got smashed by that by the boss.
That's what I wanted. I haven't upgraded in a while. Let's see. Oh, I have plenty of I have plenty of money now. Might as well upgrade something. Um. How much is it for this? Five hundred thousand. Okay, I need to save five hundred. Thousand, so I can get that last extra health upgrade. Probably gonna help me uh, defeat this boss. Sugama and Blades Piercing Void. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll try that out. It's really hard to get steel and bone into this fight because she just constantly slams on the she just keeps constantly slams down. Oh, I missed it. Still on burn. Mm. I'm gonna have to throw my extra health in there, I think. That's extra health upgrade. Scythe. I might just go back to the scythe actually. Oh, 
Yeah. Alright, clip scythe. Let's level this thing up and use it instead. Extra health, level 5. Give myself a big nice boost of health. Now if only I can get some uh, steel on burn. I need it. I need to do that more. That's right, I need to level this up.
hope I can get this uh, info filled up. I'm pretty sure I just well, that's all I need to do for this fight. It's pretty difficult though, just because they're constantly firing the projectiles at me and these enemies that just keep spawning. I saw an opening too. Yeah, trying to you know, trying to avoid the boss and trying to get for these steel and bones is so risky. No, I tried. I thought I could get it there. Apparently not. There we go. There we go, got it. Awesome. Oh. That was crazy. Pretty insane. Oh, Do we get another of these fights? Oh no. Definitely not over yet. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought that was another instance where I had to fight a bunch of enemies, build up my crew inferno, but I can actually damage her now. Damn. 
Freaking projectiles are killing me. Wow. I wonder if I just got to jump over that or not. Oh, what happened? She broke the level. I didn't see that coming. I think the game gave me a heads up. Okay, so she's crazy. If it wasn't bullet hell, I think this fight would this fight wouldn't be as bad. I just hate when she repeatedly swings her sword back and forth. That, that annoys me. I'm getting her getting her down pretty far. One more hit should do it. No, nope. one more after this. And projectiles. Oh shit. Not sure how you block that. Awesome, I got my dragon sword back.
Exactly a hero either. Guess that's what it means to be a ninja. But you saved both of their lives, so thanks. Mommy? Kana! Oh, Kana, it's over, baby. It's all over now. Where's Ryu? I, I said some bad things to him. Is that why he left? He will always be with you. Watching over you. Really? Ryu made a promise, didn't he? He said he'd always protect you. And me too. Forever and ever. Yeah, I don't think Ryu is ready to start a family. <laughs> but. I guess a ninja's journey never ends. Alright. Well, that was a pretty fun game. Um. a lot of uh, interesting twist kept the story very interesting and engaging so all I have left to do on this playthrough is I need to go through chapter challenge which is unlocked after you complete the story and uh, I'm gonna go through chapter challenge and I need to get the two golden scarabs I missed I missed the golden scarab uh, on day one and uh, day eight and I know exactly exactly which ones I missed, so I should be able to fit, get this pretty quickly. But uh, getting all 50 scarabs unlocks the uh, costume number three. Yeah, glad to see the obliteration technique come back. I love the obliteration technique uh, that was introduced in Ninja Gaiden 2. And then this game introduces the steel on bone technique, which is actually really overpowered, but there's a risk-reward factor that's involved. Um, there's some aspects of the steel on bone I don't like. I don't like how the enemies can kind of grab you all of a sudden out of nowhere, and, and it doesn't... They Well, their power attack, where they're glowing red, and they do like a ridiculous amount of damage. But if you manage to evade and then counter with a strong attack you get to you get to do the steel and bone which is just so good but um yeah once I finish this uh, first playthrough on normal I'll come back to this game at a later point and I'm planning on going through hard and then master ninja and then ultimate ninja and I'm also gonna go through uh, the ninja trials too I heard those are pretty difficult but they look like they could be a lot of fun and you can do this in cup too which I'm definitely planning on going through the co-op trials alongside the sync the solo ninja trials.
But anyways, I'm going to let these credits roll and I will be, we'll be back after the credits are over. All right, day eight cleared. That's uh, that's the end of the main story. Um, I have two golden scarabs that I need to go back and collect from chapter challenge. A new playstyle has been unlocked, Master Ninja. Ooh, okay. That should be pretty fun. Current ninja skills and karma save the normal base data. Normal level chapter challenges have been unlocked. The same base data is used when playing a game on a previously clear difficulty or a chapter challenge on the same difficulty. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Ryu, Hayabusa, and Kasumi have been unlocked in Ninja Trials. Bonus karma added to the Shadows of the World. Bonus karma is added every time you clear the story or a chapter challenge. Okay, so the Shadows of the World is like the online portion of this game. <laughs>